everybody, welcome back to my channel. Drew here from Lone Fox. Today I am extremely excited. This is my first kind of holiday themed video on the channel. I have so much Christmas stuff in the works for you guys, but I figured we'd kick off the Christmas season with an Ikea shop with me. Now last week I actually saw Kristen McGowan upload her Ikea shop with me for holiday and it got me in such the mood to go shopping. I was so excited to see that Ikea had their new winter collection and so I headed straight over there and figured I'd also film a shop with me to share with you guys some of the pieces that I'm going to be picking up. And of course I also like bringing those back to my space so you can kind of see them styled in an actual space as opposed to like just an Ikea showroom where you can see the piece. I love giving you guys ideas on how you can style those pieces as well. So we are going to be focusing on a lot of their new Vinter 2021 collection which is the Christmas line along with some other new furniture pieces and just like kitchenware or other random items that have come out since my last Shop With Me video. Now on top of all of that you guys I have a very exciting thing to tell you. The new 2021 holiday collection is live over on LoneFox.com you guys every single year. Well, I've only done it for one year. I did holiday last year, and I think this year's collection is so beautiful, you guys. There are so many cute pieces. I'll pop up some imagery across the screen here, but I don't want to, like, share with you guys absolutely everything. You could browse the site if you are interested, and I'll leave a link at the top of the description box below. But I'm sure you guys are ready to see the new collection from Ikea for winter, so let's get to shopping. Every single time I go to Ikea, I first gotta walk around the showroom area. So this is the first kitchen I walked into. I loved the blue tile in the background with the more orangey wood on the cabinets there. And every time I do one of these shop with me as well, I try to go to a new Ikea. That way I can share with you guys some new spaces. I thought this tablescape was really great and gave a little bit of inspo maybe for Thanksgiving as well. But this room that's next was just a breath of fresh air. I love how they used a lot of very fresh and natural elements and mixed in some really unique kind of juxtaposing contrast with this really funky rug. They added a ton of plants to again bring back that natural vibe and I loved these wooden dressers how they paired two side by side with those leather poles. I just thought the vibes in this room overall were extremely calming. Stepping out of the showroom area, I went over to seating and I found that they had a ton of new ottomans, actually six different styles. I'm not sure how new these are, but I loved each and every one for different reasons. I thought the coloring was great. Some of them had textures. You have rounds and squares. My favorite is probably the yellow on the bottom right there. I just think it's a really unique colorway. And I will say that the Gladham side table, which you guys have seen me use multiple times, now comes in this really great kind of tan taupe color, which I think is a really great base for any project or a standalone piece. And then I turned the corner and saw this armchair. The styling of it is a bit more traditional, however I think the fabric choice and the overall construction with the pillow in the back really makes it unique, and I like the slender profile. I think if you paired this with a more modern couch, it'd be a great pairing. I know we're all waiting for the Christmas decor, but I do just want to share with you guys some of the other furniture pieces I found. I saw this new desk chair, which I thought was fun if you wanted to add a little pop of color, or this is perfect for like a children's room as well. I didn't think I'd be dabbling into this section, but I wanted to share it with you guys. This is their new gaming section. So they have some brand new gaming chairs, different styles of them. They have new gaming desks as well, and a ton of different accessories that kind of coordinate back to gaming. I'm not a gamer myself. However, I think this would be a great gift for somebody that maybe is a gamer, but something more along the lines for me is this great easel table. I love how this tabletop is actually adjustable. Works perfect if you're an art student, and I love the wood base. It's great if you wanted to go ahead and paint or stain it a different color. In my last, I Ikea shop with me video for fall. I believe I shared with you guys this four poster bed in black. By the way, I also loved this throw blanket. Very boucle vibes for only $29. But they also actually have this in wood as well. And the wood version is stunning. If you are in the market for a bed like this, a canopy style bed, this wood one is such a great deal for $400. I love the tone of wood as well. This kitchen space here was honestly like a reverse of what we're used to. I feel like we're really used to white walls, wooden cabinets in a kitchen. However, this was the complete opposite with wooden paneled walls and white cabinets. And I think this kitchen also featured a bunch of really unique open storage solutions, which I've really been gravitating towards lately. So I thought I would share those with you guys as well. Just a couple more pieces before jumping into holiday. This new sideboard, I loved it. I wanted to share it with you guys. I feel like it's such a simple piece. So if you're looking for a light wood option like this, something to really stylize and make unique, this is a great piece for you. And also the price point of it, I think for a sideboard this large is honestly very reasonable. And these new little benches were also interesting to me. There is a larger version and a shorter version, but they're made of that pine wood, which I love from Ikea because it's super customizable. You could stain this, you can really fabricate it any way you want to make match your space. So these are some great DIY bases. 
As I walked down the stairs to the marketplace, you guys, I was greeted by the new Christmas collection from Ikea. This is the Winter 2021 collection, and there is a lot to go through, so let's get started with the trees and foliage. The first thing are just their basic trees. I actually love these. I've never picked one up before, but I picked one up this year because the sparseness of the tree is what really drew me to it. And at first I was like, how is Ikea selling this big tree for $70? But then I realized it is really sparse. It's pretty minimal. So I brought it into my house and I just love this tree. It's not going to be my main tree this year, but I thought it would be a great tree to maybe utilize in my dining room space or somewhere else throughout my apartment just as like an additional accent tree. This tree also comes in two different sizes at two different price points. Still on the topic of Christmas trees, they had so many different tabletop trees ranging from like this simple one here to one like this that has a burlap base and is kind of more fluffy towards the top. They really played with silhouette this season, which I like. They had a lot of uniquely shaped trees, even these more outdoor style trees. I love how there's a larger and a shorter, but they almost give you the traditional outdoor shape, but it still has that Christmas tree vibe to it. And this is more of like one of those topiary style trees. Is that even how you say it? I don't know, but it's twisted like this, which would be perfect for the outdoors. And they also have some smaller trees as well. This is kind of like a mid-sized one that I actually ended up purchasing myself and adding to a little crock in the kitchen. I thought this looked so cute by the window in my kitchen there with the light kind of shining through. I think this is a great way to add some greenery and also those Christmas elements to other spaces throughout your home. And if that one is still too large for you, there's a smaller option and an even babier option right here. They also offer these little pre-potted plants or florals in kind of a Christmas theme. There's this red version here and there's also some poinsettias that are pre-potted as well, a little mini options that are great for styling in a bookcase or on top of a coffee table. Every single year, I buy a new pack of bottle brush trees, whether it be from Ikea or somewhere else. And this year they had this set of three little trees, which I actually ended up adding to my little stool that I have on top of my fireplace mantle. I think these look so cute on top of there, a perfect little accent. And then lastly, in the Christmas tree area, I found these balls of pine. I'm not sure what you're gonna use them for. However, they are available. Someone must have went through right before I got there and purchased all their wreaths because it was slim pickings for sure. However, they did have this great one here. I love the black base and the simple pine accent at the bottom. I think it's also a perfect option if you wanted to DIY and add a bit more. But if you did want a more full-fledged kind of thought out wreath, they have this Jingle Bell style one, which is really, really cute. And for a pop of color, this ornament wreath is really fun for those traditional Christmas tones. And then last but not least in this section, I did find these little stars covered in pine. Maybe you can utilize these in a DIY or kind of style solo on a wall. Three new doormats were released with this collection, and I will say every single year I am someone to also purchase a new doormat for the holidays. I think it's nice to change it up. I keep them all the same throughout the year, but when it comes Christmas time, I am purchasing a new one. So I actually picked up this Christmas tree one just to utilize on the outside of my door. Working our way into decorative objects, this was definitely a hodgepodge of randomness. Starting off, we have a cork pony decor. Loved this. I thought it was very cute, simple, um, easy to style with, and it kind of has that natural tone to it. However, this straw goat was very unique, definitely different. So if this is something you like, you could definitely go for it. But I thought the craftsmanship on this piece was incredible and they have a larger version of it as well. Now, a smaller little kind of tabletop decor pieces were this bird here. There was also a small little leprechaun I forgot to film that was cute. This snow globe is also a nice little option for maybe like a child's room or to style throughout a bookshelf. And they have that same kind of figurine inside the snow globe as an actual figurine. These gnomes came in a couple different sizes and they were made of ceramic. So if you wanted to just use those as tabletop top decor. And then I really gravitated towards a bunch of the paper decor this season. I'm not sure why, but I loved these Christmas trees. And they also had some paper ornaments, which you'll see in just a little bit here. But I did pick up the taller tree to use in my apartment this year. I styled it on the side table, which I'm not sure if that's its actual home. But I also did do a little bit of styling on the media console as well. And it's super affordable because it's paper. Now, I wish each piece had its own name, so I can tell you guys each of the names, but everything was just under the collection. This right here is a little ceramic set that you can kind of DIY your own holiday scenery, which I thought was lovely. And then they had a couple of tree toppers in gold and silver. And you guys, this little plate had a fox on it. It's a tea light holder with little Christmas tree. And then the last figurines in this section were these kind of crystallized trees that actually did light up. So a bit more glitzy and glam if you like that for the holidays. 
If you have never shopped for ornaments at Ikea, I think you might this year. They have so many cute ornaments. Here I'm just going to go through some of them so that you guys can get an idea for them. Uh, these are my favorite ones right here. The paper ones that kind of have the accordion folding to them. I absolutely love those. I picked up two packs of those ornaments. They also had these really great kind of felted ornaments as well. These pinecone ones I also picked up. Love the felting detail on the outside. A few straw ones. I like how they chose the red option, kind of bringing in that traditional Christmas tone. And with each of these little clusters of ornaments I'm sharing with you guys, you actually get that many pieces and it's only like three, four, or five dollars for all of those ornaments. I got two packs of these wooden ones. I loved them so much and they had these little blown Christmas tree ones as well. So of course after picking up the tree, I did have to pick up some of the ornaments to style it with. So I got a few packs of the wooden ornaments. I got a pack of the pine cones and a couple packs of those accordion kind of pleated folded ornaments. And overall, I loved all of these together. They're very, very natural and similar in tone, but I like the texture difference. How there's wood, there's paper, and I think the paper is also great because it really has this natural, almost like used look to it where it has little bits of color in there. And I just think it's such a beautiful ornament. Even though it's crafted out of paper, you can use this year after year. And for six bucks, you guys, you get six ornaments and they're really easy to craft. And I think they're just visually very interesting. And honestly, another nice thing is that these ornaments don't weigh down your tree limbs. So if you do have a real tree that has more flimsy limbs to them, a lot of these Ikea pieces are really, really lightweight. So they're not going to weigh down your tree in any way, shape, or form, which we love. Now, working into some of their actual kind of like glass bobbly ornaments, here are a few options here, and they did have some pre-packaged ones kind of in already preset colorways, so they had that kind of traditional Christmas one. This one here is a bit more of a yellowy gold situation, and there was also a blue set as well. There could even be more than this, but these are the three that my Ikea had, and then they also had these larger sets in gold, silver, and red, and these were really beautiful. I think these are great to mix into your Christmas decor, maybe add some more personalized ornaments as well and kind of transfer in some of these pieces here and there. When it comes to prints from Ikea, they are just never my favorite. Anything printed, I never gravitate towards. I don't know why, and I know that I'm kind of skipping over these Christmas boxes that were so freaking cute. Loved those, and this twine, and these bows, but I'm mainly talking about the wrapping paper this year because you guys, they had it on lock. I thought all of their wrapping paper and the patterns and prints and colors and just choices they made were so, so cute. Here are kind of just a couple of the different ones that I loved. This kind of Nordic one, this one has a little trees in it. There was also some with just some florally elements. I love this dark green one. And then just some more simple kind of traditional style Christmas papers. Overall, I was really surprised with how much I loved these pieces. And I actually ended up picking up quite a few of them, including these gift boxes as well. These last little bits of decor are pieces that can really transition in and out of the holidays. I love this picture with the green interior and it's a perfect base to style some of these stems in like this little berry branch or this pine cone and star stem. I thought this was a really cute option as well. And then they also had these little woven baskets that had potpourri inside, including these little Christmas tree pieces for only $3.99. I thought this would be a cute, honestly, gift idea for somebody or to store in your home. And some tableware this year were these cardinal plates and dishes. And they also had a couple of Christmas themed pillows. I don't know why I didn't film them all. I only got this kind of faux fur option and then my cart was traveling down. I always love that. But stepping into Marketplace, you guys, out of the Christmas decor now, they did have this great new set of plates, which comes in a cream or a pink. And the faux fur pillows also come in this really pretty mauve color. I'm just going through these quickly at the end. There was this little lidded basket as well, which I thought was really cute. And probably my favorite new item in the entire store were these wicker magazine holders. I thought these were great storage solutions for an office space. They also had new metal baskets in multiple different sizes. This is the larger size here with some wooden handles on each side, but also great just for storing extra little bits and bobs. This watering can had a really interesting shape to it. And lastly, they had a couple new Crocs in three different sizes. These would be great, honestly, as is or perfect DIY bases for any project. I just wrapped up over at Ikea. It's literally right behind me. I'm in my car at the moment, but I thought I would do a little outro for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and this gets you a little bit more inspired for Christmas. I myself am still not totally in the Christmas mood yet. I'm still just trying to embrace fall a little bit longer, but I think by the middle of November, I'm going to start implementing some Christmas into my space. So I wanted to get this video out for you guys because I know you guys like these Ikea shop with me's and I actually got quite a few stuff, which I'm excited to go home and style. I got a Christmas tree as well because the Christmas trees were really cute. I love how they're a little bit more on the sparse side this year. I got a tree. I got some ornaments, some gift wrap, and there's really quite a few different styles of Christmas decor this year. There's like some neutral, some kind of woodlandy style, some 
traditional Christmas, um, pastel style Christmas. So there's really something for everybody and I hope that you guys loved this video. So give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave a comment below letting me know what your favorite item was that you saw in today's video and I will catch you guys in my next Ikea shop with me and on the channel for my next video which is gonna be a very, very exciting makeover. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.